on the line. Gay and lesbian news and interviews with Dean Beck. Made in Melbourne for Australia and the world. Oh, it's just been one of those days. Um, It is my great pleasure to welcome Matthew Wade, journalist for starobserver.com.au. Hello, sir. How's it going? Good. Good to have you back in the studio. Now, Victoria's government has announced uh, the latest health and wellbeing plan with a focus on sexual health and HIV. So the Victorian government, they uh, create a health and wellbeing plan every four years, and each time they kind of... Uh, hone in, I guess, on five or six key points. And this year, one of the key points is sexual health and HIV. So I guess they plan to kind of really tackle, I guess, moving towards the commitment to end new uh, HIV transmissions by 2020. And they've already started doing this by funding things like uh, rapid HIV testing, like at Pronto and Fitzroy, and things like that. Maybe they could advocate for the fast approval of PrEP. That would be very helpful. (laughs) Now, the UN High Commissioner has discussed intersex rights at the 30th Human Rights Council in Geneva this week. This is pretty important. Yeah, so it was the first time it's ever been discussed at that level. So basically, the High Commissioner was basically talking about how a lot of people aren't even aware of the issues faced by the intersex community around things like uh, forced surgeries, uh, even just on on another level, like stigma and discrimination. So it was really great... And I spoke with the president of OII Australia, who is the, um, which is the peak body for Australian intersex people, and he was saying that it's really beneficial that it's actually been spoken about at this level, and it really, I guess, will spark positive change. Now, today we've already covered the issue of the poster and also Professor Robert Grant, who I caught up with, um, but let's have a look at the Sydney Dance Company, which uh, is bringing its show here to Melbourne. Yeah, so uh, Raphael uh, Bonancella, he's a dance choreographer, and he's done a new show basically sure based is. on... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's based And it's based on the classical work of the composer Benjamin Britten, who was gay, and a lot of his works were composed for his uh, partner at the time and also uh, composed to the poems of Arthur Rambo, who was a gay poet. Um, and his new show is coming here and it's next month. It's starting in Sydney tomorrow, I think. Um, and yeah, and I guess it, through the performance, it will kind of blur the lines between gender and sexuality with, you know, men dancing with men and women dancing with women. So it should be a really great show. And of course, the print edition of Star Observer is out. And uh, is this the first time we've seen your name in print? That's uh, the second now, but oh, okay. I definitely feature more heavily in this one. So I, I like to say that this is like really the proper one. This is your, one. Yeah, yeah. Your, your debut. <laughs> and mine too. Yeah, exactly, Dean. You wrote one about the ex-gay therapy movement, which is brilliant. So uh, if you haven't seen or picked up your copy of Star Observer uh, newspaper, get a copy here from Level 9225 Burke or from your local outlet. Um, and uh, check out all of the latest news and current affairs online with Matthew Wade. <laughs> now, thank you very much for coming in today. A big thank you to Claudine from North Melbourne, who has just signed up and become a member of Joy 94.9. You can do that too for just nine. $96 if you're a family, 72 if you are a, an adult, $36 for a concession, and it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. My name's Dean Beck. You can follow me on Twitter at Dean Beck on air, and uh, I will catch you again this coming Sunday on Word for Word. Till then, you keep well. Take care. Bye-bye. This Joy program has a podcast, and you can subscribe to it at joy.org.au. Your community... Joy 94.9.